Okay, now that we have covered uh, the basics of adaptive automation, let's move toward the adaptive laboratory automation. Why actually we need the adaptation in laboratory? So, the reasons are just the same as we see in any other devices. We need a robust operation of the device or we need a robust operation for the whole laboratory system. And uh, we also need reliable results where we can eradicate the human error. We could actually achieve higher resources. That means we can have a lower time and cost effective results. And then we can increase the productivity by taking the humans, uh, by taking some uh, help, uh, help of humans into account, but taking most of the workload uh, out of from the humans to the machines. And adaptive automation in laboratory could be seen in three different ways. So we have to uh, take into account what could be automated and how to achieve automation efficiently and uh, how to make it adaptive. So uh, talking about the laboratory automation, we are talking about basically analytical laboratories or clinical testing laboratories or diagnostic laboratories. And uh, when we are talking about how to achieve efficiently, this comes with the integration, processing, communication between different devices. So this would be more covered in the new uh, in the next slides and how to make adaptation more uh, how to make system adaptive it depends upon the feedback or feed forward so what could be automated everything from the sensor data acquisition to result generation could be automated so in a laboratory where we are taking the data from a sensor taking this data sampling this data and sampling different amounts of reagents in the laboratory system or chemical analysis, everything uh, could be automated. We can take this uh, analysis and we can generate the uh, data analysis results and we can transfer and see uh, and also monitor our results during the process. So everything uh, within the laboratory could be automated to a certain level. How to achieve automation? So as I discussed earlier, we need three different perspectives of it. So we need processing, we need connectivity, and we need adaptation. And this uh, processing is actually uh, based on different number of uh, microcontroller or single board computer or microprocessors. And uh, integration of these devices is really important because this integration helps to perform, uh, help the devices to perform uh, fine with each other. Our, the, this communication between different devices could help to achieve a common goal. And this uh, communication could be wireless or wired. And then feedback could help to achieve a specific goal in terms of control or in terms of process. And this uh, feedback could be either uh, a simple feedback regarding a simple control algorithm, or we could add uh, artificial intelligence or machine learning based adaptation into the system. So intelligence uh, into the system is actually added from the feedback, which could be a simple feedback, uh, or it could be a machine learning or AI based. Um, so we are what we are trying to achieve is to control a process during this automation process. Process control is the heart of automation. So we are trying to uh, control either a device or a process. So we have to uh, make sure the process or device adapts to the specific goal uh, by uh, monitoring the result or the response of the system. And this uh, uh, control is actually achieved under uh, data, data that we could go, uh, get from the sensors. And this data is then processed and controlled via microprocessor and this process control and automation could help us uh, in achieving a lower power consumption price is could be lowered and the performance and portability of the device should be uh, more and that means that the processing unit is the main core of the automation so we have to make sure that the processor that we choose for our uh, laboratory is the mo uh, could perform better and should be a price uh, price wise uh, better solution for us so moving on we have um, 
as I said earlier, we have a processor as the core of the automation. That means that we have to make sure that while we are uh, making a device automated or we are making a process automated, we make sure what is the brain of our automation uh, system. And uh, while choosing a processor or a computer or controller, or whatever you will say it, the, there are some certain specifications that you have to take into account. There are there is a processing speed that and time that would it would take for a processor to uh, uh, complete a certain function, and this should be first benchmarked. And uh, we also need to make sure that the processor comes with a wired or wireless connectivity. The power consumption is a really important factor because it could affect the overall performance of the process or the device. RAM speed, audio video encoding or decoding, it depends upon what is your application. And additional feature could be machine learning capability that could be added even to different microcontrollers or single board computers. Why I'm talking about microcontroller or single board computers is that they are cheap or cost effective. and um, uh, they are easily present right now and there are tons of micro uh, microcontrollers that you can buy from the uh, market while well, going toward the benchmarking of it. So before starting toward going toward the different process of the uh, automation, we have to make sure that the processor that we are taking for the, our laboratory is able to perform certain functions. And there are uh, some applications on internet that are present to benchmark any PCB or sorry, any controller. Uh, and one of them is Foronix Test Suite. And it's a free open source benchmarking tool. And it could be used for Linux, Windows, Solaris, any kind of uh, OS. And you can upload the result to it. Uh, you, there is an open benchmarking website connected to this test suite where you can upload your result. You can see the results uploaded by other people as well. So you can uh, run a number of tests to see how your controller is performing and what others are saying. And you can then choose that, OK, this is the controller that I need for my application. This could help you to avoid the costly iteration of the device at later design stages. So if you Choose your, uh, choose your microcontroller or single board computer that you're going to use for your application or even if you're using a bigger system, Windows-based or Linux-based system, still you have to benchmark it uh, according to your application before going further. And uh, as I said earlier, there are a number of uh, microcontroller and single board computers uh, are present there. And one of them is Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is uh, really famous right now. It comes with the uh, uh, ARM-based processor. And now uh, in Raspberry Pi 5, it's, um, it's predicted that it would be maybe RISC 5 based uh, arc, uh, my, uh, processor. And then we have um, BeagleBoard, we have Arduino, and other number of devices. And we can add, actually, machine learning based um, accelerator to these devices as well. It, uh, it completely depends upon your application that which microcontroller or single board computer that you are going to use. So uh, let's look into the adaptive automation uh, in a different perspective or in a more deeper perspective. So we have a controller that we just discussed about that we have a processing unit and then we have something that we are controlling that is a plant. So um, there are some kind of uh, actions or uh, inputs that are calculated by the controller to uh, tell the plant how to behave or how to perform to achieve a specific goal. Now if we don't have a feedback from this uh, plant to an adjustment mechanism that could help the controller to change its uh, parameters to achieve a specific goal, then it means that our plant could behave uh, bad in a sense that it could its response could actually deviate much more than the reference point. But if we have this reference model and we compare it with the 
whatever uh, result that we are getting from the plant, we can actually introduce our adjustment mechanism that could help the controller to achieve a specific goal within shorter time. And uh, this is the importance of the feedback into the whole equation of uh, adaptive automation. This feedback could not only help the controller, but it will help the overall performance of the different devices into the equation of this control unit. So adaptive automation is actually based on feedback and uh, when changing some external parameters, it is important that you take the feedback into an account. So we are uh, having, we have talked about the controllers and the processing unit and we have talked about the feedback, but how to connect these different concepts together. So this part is the integration part. And this integration comes with the connectivity which is wired or wireless. So talking about the wired connectivity, we have, um, we have a bound there because when we have a wired connectivity, that means we are using wire to connect different devices and the range under which these devices could work is gonna be limited. For example, we have a automation or in an laboratory which is super big let's say there are each unit is in a uh, different room and we want to transfer data between different units that means we have to uh, send take a long wires and this could be really costly so the working range would be really limited so if we are thinking of a high throughput bigger laboratories we have to move toward wireless communication Wireless communication comes with a larger range as compared to the wired communication and it could uh, help the automation to be more robust as compared to wired communication. Um, this could make the system uh, scalable, robust and also reliable. And uh, if we are looking at the smaller system even, so which are connected to the laboratory, these smaller system uh, may be operating in a really remote area and there achieving a wide connectivity would be difficult. So wireless communication could be a really good solution there.